What's up guys, it's Beda here. Today I have a new type of video for you. This is not a gameplay video as usual. Today I will show you the best hiding spots I know on the map Chalet. These spots are very good for Cavera since she's probably one of the strongest roamers since Jackal is in the game. By the way, you don't need any deployable shields to get in the spots that I'm gonna show you. So let's get started with the first spot. Okay, so the first spot I'm, I want to show you is in the wine cellar downstairs. The only thing you need uh, for this spot is an impact nade. This is why Kavira is very good for the spots that I'm gonna show you because most of the time you're gonna need an impact nade. So Kavira is probably the best choice for you. So the only thing you have to do, you just need to impact this right there. Then you're gonna be able to go below it. This is a very good spot. So where, when you're in the spot, you're gonna want to lean to the left and aim to the right a bit. Right there. Yeah, right where I am. So this is a very good spot when they are attacking the wine cellar actually. Because most of the time they're not gonna drone you. So you can just take them by surprise while they plant in the wine cellar. So if they plant, you, you can just go out and surprise them. Most of the time they will uh, plant in the corners of the room. You need to be careful though because there might be a lot when you go out of the spot so you, you need to be ready and you need to pre-fire sometimes. If they plant garage though it's very bad for you because it's very hard to take back a site with Cavera so you need to be careful about that too. If you hide in this place it's also very good if the site is in the kitchen, not only in the wine cellar. Because you can just uh, flank them in these stairs late in the round because sometimes they're gonna try to termite the wall right there. So if you flank these stairs, it's very good to take out termite or Ibana. It is also possible for you to uh, flank the blue stairs. So I'm just gonna make my way there slowly but surely. So it's possible to flank uh, these stairs late in the round. And also the main stairs. Because sometimes they're gonna try to push from the main lobby, so it's very good to flank them. This is just a very good hiding spot in general, to be honest. So this is how it looks like when you drone. As you can see, if you drone very quickly, you're not gonna see him. It's very rare that someone looks to the right right there when they drone, so this is a very good spot. The second spot that I want to show you is pretty much the same as the first one. It's still in the one cellar, but this time you just need to impact nade this thing right there. So it's gonna open like the other one, so you just do the same thing, you go under it, you lean to the left, and you aim to the right a bit. Always remember to keep uh, your feet behind you, because if they are in the front like that, they're gonna see you uh, very easily with their drones. But if they are behind you, like that, it's very hard for them to find you. This spot is not as good as the other one if uh, the site is in the wine cellar because most of the time they're gonna open this wall right there to your right. And if they open this wall, they will see you. And if they see you there, well, you're gonna die instantly. So, it's not that good uh, to uh, play in this spot if uh, you're playing wine cellar. This spot is gonna be very good if uh, you are playing kitchen or a master bedroom so you can flank late in the round by uh, the main stairs, the blue stairs or the westman stairs uh, right there. But this spot is pretty much the same thing as uh, this one right there. So most of the time when you drone this spot, you're gonna just drone very quickly so you won't see him. You won't see the guy hiding there. So if they push from one of the two garage in the map and they don't see you there, most of the time it's gonna be after interrogation. Or you can just uh, flank later in the round. The next spot that I'm gonna show you is in the trophy room. This is one of the best, if not the best spot that I'm gonna show you today. Trust me, if you have the good position, it, it is very hard to see you. So yeah, let's get right into it. So what you're gonna do is, you go prone, close to the PC, you punch it, and you punch that part of the table too. After that, you're gonna want to lean to the right, and you just want to make your way through. Sometimes it can be, it can be hard to get in, but most of the time it's gonna be pretty easy. When you are at that part, you aim to the left and you turn your aim to the right. 
and then you just go back by leaning left. This will make you very hard to see by the drone. And to get out, sometimes it's very difficult, but I just go backwards most of the time and it works pretty well. This is a very good site if the site um, is in this room actually, in the trophy room, because if they plant, it's a free kill basically. So most of the time you're gonna get a lot of kills. And if they push from trophy to go in the dining room, this is also pretty good. You're gonna get a lot of kills with this spot, trust me. Uh, this is also very good if you are playing downstairs in the wine. You can just open the, this hatch before the round starts. And the hatch in kitchen or the hatch in west main, right there. This is very good to flank uh, late in the round or to get some picks at the beginning if someone uh, goes in without droning. This is also very good if you are playing uh, in the master bedroom or the bar because you can just flank uh, in the main lobby or in the stairs if you're playing upstairs. I never saw someone of my entire life uh, in this spot. This is very hard to see with the drone as you can see too. Even if you're droning from kitchen, it's very hard to see her. So this is a very good place to hide if you don't want to get spotted uh, by the enemy at the start of the round. Okay, so the next spot that I'm gonna show you is in the dining room. This is a very easy spot to go in, you don't need anything. So the spot is right there. The only thing you have to do is very simple. You go prone in uh, these little bushes. You lean to the right and you aim to the left a bit. Actually, you need to uh, go quite uh, to the left here. Like that. With that position, it's very hard to see you because they will only see the the bush. And they won't really see you because camera is very hard to see. This uh, hiding spot is very good in general, but it is very good you're playing downstairs. And it is also very good if you want to cut someone off guard. Because a lot of people go through the dining room, so it's very easy to kill them. So if you want to flank downstairs late in the round, later in the round, you just have to open the hatch before the, the round starts. It is also very good if uh, you're playing in this side and uh, if they want to go kitchen. If they plant the trophy room, it's a, it's quite hard for you though to uh, take back that side. But if they want to go kitchen from dining room, it's uh, a pretty good spot actually because you can just uh, surprise them in their back with the shotgun and you just kill them all when they push. 90% of the time they will not drone you, so you can just stay there all the round if you want and then flank or kill them if they push. This is very hard to see, I will show you with my drone after. And it is also very good if you're playing upstairs once again because you can just flank these stairs or you can uh, flank from the Westman stairs later in the round. As you can see, it is almost impossible to see her. As I said earlier, the only thing you're gonna see is the bush. So, most of the time, they will not see you, and it makes this spot very relevant. Okay, so the next spot is in the connector of the garage, right there. This is the connector, if you didn't know, by the way. This room is the connector. So, the only thing you want to do, you get up there, you prone, you aim to, you lean to the right, I mean, and you aim a bit to the left, be sure to have your feet behind you, and you aim right there. Be sure to have this position because uh, they're gonna be able to see you otherwise, so it's very important to keep that position that I just told you. So this spot is very good uh, if uh, the, the site is upstairs actually. If the site is downstairs, it is very bad because you're not gonna be able to take back a site with that. So, if the site is in the bar or in the dining room, for example, you can flank from these stairs and you can flank from the blue stairs and the Westman stairs. Yeah, this wall right there. Most of the time, they're gonna have uh, a sledge who's gonna push from, uh, from garage. So, if, if he doesn't drone you, you can just take him off guard and you can interrogate him. It's a free interrogation, and most of the time you're gonna win the round because of that. When you drone connector, 
Most of the time you will just drone very quickly, you, you won't go there with your drone to see if there's someone behind that. If the drone sees you though, you need to get the fuck out, boy. If you're droning from one side or there's a little gap where you can see her between the, the two boxes, but that's the only way that they can see you. Okay, so the last spot I want to show you is in the bathroom. I could show you more spots, but the other ones are not that great and they're not that relevant compared to the other ones that I showed you in the in the video. <coughs> Sorry. So, the only thing you want to do is you go right here, you prone, you lean to the right, and you aim to the left. Your position in this spot is very important or they're gonna see you pretty easily. So make sure your feet are behind you and you aim to the left le the more you can. Or they will uh, see you with their drone. The only thing you need to take care of is this window. If someone decides to go from this window inside, you need to be ready to fight him. And if they see you with their drones, you can just open this wall with your impact nade and you can go away pretty easily. This, uh, <coughs> this spot is very good if you are defending the kitchen, for example. Because most of the time they're gonna have a fuse or a termite or a banner. So if you are able to take one of those three operators, it is very good for your team because if they don't have a fuse, you can just stay in the side. If they don't have a termite, they won't be able to open this ash right there, and they won't be able to open this ash right there. Same, same for Ibana. And sometimes they will have a bug. So if you kill the bug, he's not gonna be able to open the floor right there. So they're not gonna be able to have a line of sight on you. So this is very good for your team because you're gonna be able to stay in the site uh, without getting shot from above, so it's very good for you. And it's also very good if uh, the site is downstairs. You can just open this ash right there and then you can flank and you can open this ash, the ash in the kitchen and this ash right there and you can flank them. This is a very good flank. And now, I'm gonna show you a very high risk, high reward flank. And this is right here. The only thing you have to do is you run. Goes to this uh, bench right there. And you're gonna see a vault option here. The vault option is at the top left. And this is why I say this is a high risk, high reward. Because sometimes you won't get the vault option. It's very hard to get, but when you get it, it's very good. So once you get it, you want to fall on the tree so you don't die. You're gonna land on this little edge right there and this spot is very good if the door is already open because you don't make any sound when you're breaking the door so they won't hear you so this is a very good way to flank from the top floor to the bottom floor in like three seconds and then you just have an easy flank if they push uh, the wine cellar if you do this correctly you will be detected for like one second so most of the time they won't see you outside so you will just get free kills, or you will get killed. Oh well. So when you're on the, your drone, as you can see, you don't see her a lot. You need to go pretty far to to see her. The only bad thing about this spot is the drone all behind, as you can see. If they drone from there, you will get to see. But this is a pretty high risk, high reward spot, like I said. So if the, it works, it's good for you. If it doesn't work, well, you're dead. Sorry about that. So this conclude my best spots on the map chalet. I don't do this kind of video usually, so I hope you guys liked it. And I just want to thank you all for your recent support. You guys have been fucking amazing. So yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. My next video will probably be a gameplay video as I do usually. So yeah, have a nice day people.